Hi, happy knitters. Welcome back. So by the title of this video, you know that we are doing a Dollar Tree haul. It has been a while since I have done one. So I thought, you know what, let's see what else Dollar Tree has uh, since it's been a minute since I've been in there to look for things that crocheters and knitters can use for storage, etc. So let's get started. First thing up is, did you know that Dollar Tree actually carries crochet hooks? Now, we all know, those who are of us who have shopped in Dollar Tree, that all Dollar Trees are not created equal. So if you don't have some of the supplies that you see here today, just shop around for the other for the next Dollar Tree in your area, or you do know that you can order online from Dollar Tree. Okay, so luckily I was able to find this crochet hook, which is going to be a five millimeter crochet hook. So if you need to add to your stash, um, this was the size that they had at my Dollar Tree, but um, your Dollar Tree may have some additional sizes. They also had, this one is aluminum, as you can see. Now they also had a set of plastic ones and these were six millimeter and 6.5 millimeter. So you can add that to your, um, your stash as well. If that is something that you need to, to add to your um, collection. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer so that you can see it. How cool is that? So those were the only two crochet hooks that I found at my Dollar Tree, but that does not mean that there's not some more at your local. And these are great for knitters if you are dropping stitches, etc., or if you're making a scrappy blanket or, or anything that you would need an additional crochet hook for, but you don't necessarily need a whole set. So check that out. Now, next up is these test tubes. Okay, now check these out. What I like about these are that you can pull these out individually, throw them in a project bag, and or just sit them on your desk um, so that you can see what you have in them as far as stitch markers, locking markers, progress keepers, etc. But if you want to, and they come in different colors, um, I had a blue set here. And like I said, it is definitely called the test tube holder. And everything that you see at Dollar Tree, everything you see here and everything at Dollar Tree, of course, is a dollar. But I thought this was a great storage idea if you are needing to uh, store all of your little small items. And like I said, if you are if you have a project, take one of them out, throw them in your bag and you are good to go. So that's a new one for me and a new one for you guys that I haven't shown before on any of my Dollar Tree hauls. Next up as we move along. I have shown these before in one of my other uh, Dollar Tree hauls. These here are, are one of my favorite items to use for uh, storage. Now, I love that they, they clasp open and that you can put a myriad of things in them and you can see what's in these also. So I, I literally, use these. This is the one that I have that's my personal one. And I keep a bunch of stuff in it. I've got some scissors. I've got locking stitch markers. I've got a row counter. So I literally use these all the time. So I love them and they stack. So this particular set comes, yeah, guys, you get three of these for a dollar three of them. So you can throw these in your project bags too. So if you wanted to put a pair of scissors, a pair of uh, uh, a row counter, or some locking stitch markers, progress keepers, if you wanted to divide these out by each project, and, and we all know as knitters and crocheters, we have an abundance. We have more than one pair of scissors. We have more than one, you know, we have more of one of everything. So if you wanted to, and if you were a real big organizer, you could make a, one of these sets for each of your projects or have them waiting for you when you get ready to create a project and you can just pick one of these up off of your shelf and throw it in your project bag and it's got everything that you need. 
the, the tape measure, like I said, scissors, etc. So I absolutely love these. And you get three, like I said, three for a dollar. Next up is going to be these great little magnetic holders. Okay. So if you have one of those, I know a lot of people have those uh, magnetic boards um, around maybe in your craft room, or you may want to get one. These are great because you can, these are magnetic and they will just boop, stick to the magnet board. And you can, of course, still put your stitch, your locking stitch markers, progress keepers in that as well. And because it has a clear center, you can still see, oops, you can still see what is inside of here. So that is an idea for storage. And if you didn't want to use the magnet part of it, just buy them just because you can see them clear. So that is a great, great um, accessory as well. Next up is going to be, they have these cute little tin pencil, uh, pen, I think they're pencil holders. Yeah, they're tin pencil holders, but they open up. I just put a set of double uh, pointed needles in here, but they will hold circular needles. They will hold crochet hooks. They will hold knitting needles as well. And you can just close them up. Now they are a little noisy because it is tin. So that is something to consider when you're thinking about purchasing these. But guys, I mean, you know, if you're on a budget, or you just want, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on just storage storage items because you guys have a lot of story, a lot of uh, little knickknacks from knitting and crocheting. This is definitely what you would need. Okay, next up is going to be, are you in need of some project bags that are, that are inexpensive? Because you're, like I said, we all know that some of us, everybody's budget is different. So this is an easy way to, to get project bags without breaking the bank. They have these cute little see-through, I guess they're like PVC vinyl bags. And what I like about these bags, number one, great for sock knitting or small projects because they do have a, a gusset bottom, two of them, so they will spread out wider than, than you see. And this one is. So, and then you can see what is in here. It also has outside pockets that you can throw little items in if you need to. And it has this cute little handle for you to be able to carry your bag around. So my Dollar Tree only had the black and the red. Your Dollar Tree may have a bunch of other different uh, colors. So check those out. A dollar a piece, great project bags for very, for little or nothing. And then they also have these little canvas bags. And this one, let me see. Yes, these have handles. Let me pop the tag off for you. I did not do that. These have handles. So, and these also have a gusset bottom as well. So these will spread out a little bit more than what you are looking at. And this one says you are magic. You can put a sweater. If you're working on a sweater, you can put a sweater in here. You can put, these are, this, these are definitely good for large projects because they have so much room in them. Guys, a dollar, a dollar and I think it is an absolute great find. So that is that for project bags. So let's see what else I got on my list. How about these little holders? It's just a wire basket, but it's also great if you are doing color work. These holes will be great yarn guides if you have more than one skein. You can slip your yarn through the hole. And I mentioned this before in, I think, my other Dollar Tree um, haul. But this is just a different alternative to, to, to what I mentioned in that earlier video. So this one is also the same thing. 
And, or you can just make your yarn pretty and sit them in there just because for display purposes. So these are a dollar as well. And like I said, great for intarsia, great for color work, um, great for just displaying your yarn or whatever you want in them because we can never have too many baskets, right? And then last week, I had showed, I think back here, I think you guys can see it. I had a uh, candy jar that I put my, my minis in. Well, Dollar Tree has these, now mine is acrylic, but Dollar Tree has a smaller version and they may actually have some bigger versions of these. My Dollar Tree did not, but these are a dollar. If you are looking to hold or display um, your minis in a cute fashion, like this, this is a great idea to do that. And it's very inexpensive and you can place these all around your yarn room, craft room, your kitchen, your table, wherever it is that you that you call your happy happy space. If you saw this sitting there and it was giving you these beautiful colors, it would give you all the vibes, right? So go out, grab you a few of these, put your minis in. If you are, if you uh, cross stitch your uh, your your thread, your flossing thread, your DMC floss threads could go in here. These are great for a bunch of things. Also, if you need something that keeps the dust off, put whatever you need in here, put the lid on, they seal just fine. And it's something that keeps your items dust free. So there is a beautiful alternative to displaying your yarn and just another storage tip idea. And then last but certainly not least, I just want to make sure that I did not forget anything because I've got stuff everywhere. We all, as crocheters and knitters, we sit for a long period of time and we need hydration, okay? I found these cute little cups, mugs, tumblers, whatever you want to call them. This one says sit back and relax. And this one says rise and grind. They both have the slits in them for our cold beverages. I don't know about hot beverages or not. They are all BPA free, 16 ounce tumblers, and you hand wash these. But for sure, teas, things that, I like I said, I don't know about putting a hot drink in them. They do seem like they, oh, this one is all good. They do seem like they would work for hot drinks, but just make sure um, when you buy these or if you buy these that uh, you make sure you can ask someone at the store, but a dollar to keep you guys hydrated. So that I believe is all that I had in regards to my Dollar Tree haul for this time. So guys, I want you to comment down below out of all the products that you saw today, what you like the best or what you thought was something that you that you would like to use. I'm going to give away two sets of everything that you saw here today. So by just commenting below on what you like the best in this video, I will do a giveaway and two people will win each of the items that you saw here. And then I will, after it, so, Let's just say this video is going to go up um, one week from the day this video goes up is when I will draw the prizes. So I'm not sure when I will upload it, but if you check out the upload date on the video, one week from that day is when I will draw the prizes, the winners for the, for the, for the two sets, and I will ship those out to you because you may not have a Dollar Tree in your area. Or you may just say, you know what? I don't feel like going to a Dollar Tree. Let me enter this contest. So are this giveaway and I might just win and I have to enter a Dollar Tree. So I hope you guys have enjoyed what you have seen here today. Please like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be able to catch any episodes or tutorials or things like this that I upload and you'll be the first to check them out. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.